stay within your limits. I just want to apologize for my behavior earlier. That was my first mistake, so give me a chance rather than detention. He moved closer to her. Why do you think I would accept your apology when you are neither sincere nor have you apologized? He stepped forward while Wine took three steps backward. I'm sorry. Her heart beat raised wildly. She got and looked straight into his eyes. Then smiled as Wine's back was pressed against the wall. He leaned closer to her and tilted his head. Do you think you're forgivable? You called me with names in front of all the students and you so called lover. His eyes came down. What lover? Who are you talking about? Then Jagu shaking his head in disbelief. Her, the 
Thomas, which was bleeding. In one duplicate fight, she grabbed Blakely by the hair. Everyone gathered around them. When Begin hit him, Blakely was continuously apologizing. Blakely hit her back to defend herself. Wine pressed her against the wall and placed several slaps on her face. Blakely punched and kicked her in the stomach. Then came out to face of his hair in the commotion. What's going on? Leave her mind. He pulled her away. His face was red, her nose and mouth bleeding. Leave me, she had begun in his grip and again Blakely. His friends came and held her. Are you out of your mind? Do you want to kill her? He rolled the wine and silent the woman was senses. Blakely, are you okay? She nodded weakly. Take her to the medical room. He said to her friends, she thanks for your interrupt her. Just shut up. Wine friends and looked around. All the friends were staring at her weirdly. Everyone get back to your business. Everyone dismissed. Then dragged wine into his office and slammed the door. What was that? Why did you fight? He stopped seeing the blood dripping down her chin. He let out a deep breath and took out the first aid box. Wine stood silently trying hard not to break into tears. Then stepped forward. He reached out his hand. She slapped it away. Don't touch me with your filthy hands. Then threw away the cotton swab and held her by the elbow. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? First you pick the fight, then you're yelling at me. Man clenched her throat. How can you be so sure I picked the fight? She tried hard to stay calm. Because I know Blakely can't do something like this. Man immediately took her shaking her head. So much stress on her. She released from his grip. It wouldn't matter even if I said something. He stepped closer while raised her hand. Don't come closer. You disgust me with your filthy touch. You disgust me to the extent that I would rather die than even speak to you. My mom is right. You are not trustworthy. Then stared at her in disbelief. To the hell with you. Now we'll meet in the dean's office. He made his way out and slammed the door behind him. Perhaps if wine was suspended for a month, she hasn't faced him since then. She couldn't help but think about him the whole day. She didn't even remember what she said in anger. She just knew whatever she said was worse than anything. She regretted fighting with Blakely and rushing out with him. Wine had planned to apologize to them. Blakely these days her mother was on a business trip and her loneliness was eating her out. So she decided to explore the place and went to a cafe where she met Blakely and discovered that she was working. Thank you. 
and stared at him in a daze. The feeling of him being only hers was so beautiful. Tom said, I want to talk to both of you. Before Sam spoke, one scream and the dog's barking made them startled. She didn't realize when the puppy came and licked her legs. Leanna, your doggy will eat me. She cried, jumping with him, causing him to stagger backward. Leanna swiftly went after the puppy while Mrs. King also entered the room. Stop screaming. He held her by the wrist while one finished his shirt in her fist and hide her face in his chest. Hard to breathe. As 
I met her face and glanced at the work clock with a dizzy head. It was past 9.30 p.m. With trembling feet, she made her way to the door, not forgetting to pick the empty water jug when the door opened and a figure entered. Who is there? She was about to hit the jug on the person's head when he held her hand, switching on the lights. One sailor came in surprise. Do you want to become a widow? One looked away, lowering her hand in turn around. Why are you here? She walked towards her bed, her thin hair, her hand turned her around and pulled her towards him. One bumped into his chest. Did you cry? He asked her, seeing her red eyes and tears strings on her face. That has nothing to do with you, leave me. She released herself from his grip, but he held her by the arm, pushing her to win something. What happened? He asked with a frown as his grip wasn't that tight. Nothing. She wiggled in his hold while he rolled up her sleeve. What is this? He rolled up her right sleeve as well, which was similar to this one. This shouldn't concern you. Tell me why are you here? She asked, moving away. You are my wife, so everything about you concerns me. He sat her on the bed. Is this why you came back here? The wife whom you are about to divorce. She said with teary eyes, I won't divorce you. It is not in this life. This paper was sent by your mom. He said, Search it for the first maid. Where is this?
Sailing straight. You can go. She asked, pulling out. 